From what is quickly becoming the second noisiest neighborhood in the known universe, welcome to Smoky Goodness 2.0 and welcome to the second installment of my summer series, uh, the series with a goofy name. I think I call it Smokey's Finest. This is Smokey's Finest number two. A uh, video we did, I think something like seven years ago when we were back at the real noisiest neighborhood in the known universe. Um, a recipe that has been in this family for generations, even though none of us are Italian, we're not even close to Italian, and yet, shut up dog, and yet it's been in the family for generations, crab stuffed pasta shells. It was a huge hit. Every time I make it, it's a huge hit, and this will be a huge hit. We're going to change it up a little bit, as I often do. Every time I make this, I kind of put my own little spin on it. We're going to do that today. Um, but we're going to try to keep also to the basic original recipe. So without any further subjective delaying ado, let's get started. We've got a ton of prep to do. Well, not really, not a ton. Stick around. Professional fire starter is back at it. He's going to fire starter or fire bug. <laughs> All right, let's get this party on the road. Party on the road. Let's get this party started. Let's get this show started. Let's get this party on the road. There you go. We've got a fire. Now that's a fire. You can't see it. We begin, we're gonna start with an eight ounce block of, I think this is medium cheddar cheese. And we're gonna grate the whole thing. This could take a while. So uh, I'll bring you back after I'm done. So like a plan, Sounds like a plan to me. And there you go, that only took about a minute. Some people like to see every little aspect and every little procedure, every second of it. But I'm thinking about the edit. All right. Remember this thing? This is Little Red. I haven't used it in a while. Shut up, dog. And do you remember this? Yeah, the Chop Wizard. We'll be using both of these in concert with each other right now. Shut up, dog. Nobody asked you. I have four stalks of celery. I think last time I did this, I used three. And four this time because making a slightly larger batch of this. So that'll be cool. Hey, the dog listened. No, he didn't. Shut up, dog. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Shut up, dog. One. And here we go. Chopolate this stuff. Get that one small enough. Done with the uh, chop wizard yet? I want a green pepper, a whole green pepper. I think last time I said something goofy like pith and all. I don't necessarily want the pith. I just want the uh, peppery parts. Man, this knife is dull, isn't it? Holy moly, green guacamole. Like I said the last time, a little bit of pith. Is okay. 
actually. I kind of prefer it that way. Gives it some character. Okay, we're done with that for a while. Maybe for the rest of the video. Give us a mix. Mix her all up. Get everything incorporated and getting to know each other. All that good stuff. Okay. And that flavor begins with a dog that won't shut up. No, I'm just joking. Crab meat, lump crab. Uh, a lot of times the family used to use the uh, imitation crab meat. I think it's Pollock or something. We don't do that here on Spoken Goodness. We use the real thing. It is in a can, but uh, we're landlocked. The last time I did this, there was no moisture in the crab meat. I guess it means they uh, included part of the ocean with this. Huh? There's a lot of water in there, man. In it goes. Hope I'm getting that on camera. Okay, I'll do the same thing with the uh, two remaining cans and we'll be right back. Well, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. Well, I got every dog in the neighborhood barking already. You know, this neighborhood was quiet the first five and a half years we were here, but now we've hit what, year six. And <laughs> I don't know. It just got really noisy. But that's part of the show, right? Okay. We're going to set this aside just for a moment. And we're going to introduce our foil pan. And here I have a combination of some killer, killer tomato basil spaghetti sauce from a company that I cannot mention. They asked me not to. I don't know why, but... I had to uh, <laughs> jump through a few hoops to get that. This is also mixed with uh, some Filipino spaghetti sauce. If you haven't tried it, you should. I think every Asian market has it. The two together are extraordinary. Extraordinary. Did I say extraordinary? <laughs> I'm not from England, man. Like I said, we're gonna line the bottom of the pan with all this goodness. As per procedure. Oh, you can see the basil in that spaghetti sauce. Wow. I wonder why they wanted to keep it a secret. I have theories, but I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that right now because they're probably wrong. Alright. I'm not done yet. The rest of this tomato mix will be going into our mix. These things are so good. Every time we make them, we realize we just didn't make enough. <laughs> and not having enough is never a good thing. So, so I'm just going to mix all this up and then we're going to stuff some shells. Yes, sir. This is coming together perfectly. All right, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to start stuffing some shells. Be right back. The remainder of the uh, pasta sauce went into this bowl, and this bowl is now going to be used to stuff these shells. Now, I may end up doing this by hand, which is what I do usually every time. <laughs> yeah, it's easier, it's quicker, so we'll do that. We'll stuff these bad rabbits by hand and get them in the pan. It's kind of a tedious process right here, but well worth it. And who doesn't like playing with their food, right? We'll continue this process. I don't want to burn up the battery. We'll be back as soon as I finish. Got this finished and turned the camera back on. The battery conked out. Not to worry. I, always, I say I always have extra batteries on hand for just such an occasion. It's about time to wrap this and put it on the grill dome, or in the grill dome. 
course, just before I do, I like to hit these, or hit these with lemon juice. You gotta have it. Integral part of this recipe. Usually I only use one lemon, but today I'm gonna use two. Raining lemon juice from the heavens. Let's wrap this. Ready for the magic to happen. Get it on the grill dome. All right, here you go. 20 to 25 minutes. After that, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. You'll see, it's gonna be good. Stick around. I'm going to remove the foil here in a minute and we're gonna hit it with some Parmesan cheese, uh, pre-shredded Parmesan cheese. I wanted to buy it in a block, you know? Even a small block would be fine. I've got one of those uh, fancy ass um, hard cheese graters, you know, that makes that cool sound when you grate, kind of a makes everybody hungry. <laughs> but uh, can't do it. The prices are corporate greed. Why is it whenever there's something I want, I want to buy, I want to use, <clears throat> prices automatically just shoot to the sky. I just don't get it. So we're going to have to use this uh, shredded, uh, pre-packaged Parmesan. So someday I'll get the opportunity to use one of my toys. I, like I said, I've had this thing for probably five years. Haven't used it yet. Oh well, let's do this. So, well, I guess it is hot. <laughs> Of course it is, man. It's been in the grill for almost half an hour. Wow! Whoa. So here we go with uh, some pre-packaged, pre-shredded, pre-everything Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. Don't be stingy. Oh, probably gonna use this whole package. I'm gonna use the whole package. This is not diet friendly either. All right, 10 more minutes uncovered. 10 minutes more has passed and we are done, I do believe. Let's take a look. Oh, it smells amazing as always. The Parmesan did not melt as much as I wanted it to. It did a little bit around the edges. I don't care. Let's get this off and let's go in and let's have a feast. But how does it taste there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Jr.? It's great. Mm-hmm. There are three plates. There are only two willing participants in this final scene. <laughs> Just like we used to make. <laughs>